Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is how to make torches. Um, it's been actually a requested item for a while, but um, I recently discovered something that will be able to make more advanced blocks and stuff like that work a little bit more efficiently. So uh, as you can see here, we have a standing torch on the ground and, uh, and if we go inside, there's also wall torches. So um, with the code, what I've been able to do is detect what uh, side or what face the block is uh, clicked on. So um, as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, even if we were to click on that side, it will rotate it the proper way, and I've even added some animations to the uh, flame part of the torch as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it just works really well. Uh, you can't place it on the ceiling. I don't think regular torches can be placed on the ceiling either. Um, okay, so it looks like they are. There's a little bit extra code that I might have missed. If you right click on it, it should find the nearest thing. But for the most part, the torches work uh, perfectly fine. So, uh, kind of get the idea of how it's all set up. It's um, detecting the block face. So, let's hop into the code and I'll show you how it all works. So, to make a torch, the first thing that you're going to need is uh, if you're going with an animation texture as well. Uh, like I did with the, the flames, then you're going to want a um, texture dedicated to the flames itself, and then you want to animate that. And then you're also going to want a texture for the rest of your torch as well. So I have two textures here, one's called flames, the other one's called base. The base is where all the um, physical textures are, where the flames are, kind of where the uh, animation for the torch is. Those are both block textures, and then I also quickly made a um, item texture for the um, the torch as well, which we'll need to uh, detect and place the actual blocks down. So we will start with the blocks themselves. Uh, the easiest one is to uh, start with the floor, so torch floor. I really gave them generic names when I was renaming them. Um, you want to select the block model for your torch floor. Now there are two block models. I provided the models um, in the, the file for the, um, the workspace as well. So or the the files for the things that I've used to make this. So you guys can take a look at the block models and all that stuff if you want to. Um, there is no rotation on the floor version. There is cutout, transparency, and the last thing you want to do is set up your block um, dimensions. This will vary but depending on how big your torch is, the size of it, and all the other things. Uh, you want to set your particle texture here. Uh, when you've done that, move on, and then you can uh, give it a GUI name. I've just called it Geo uh, Torch Floor. Uh, this this isn't really going to be much of a important issue. Most of your naming will be on the, um, the item part where people are going to be mostly identifying the torch itself. So I have it to drop the torch item and to uh, give the torch item if it's uh, right clicked on with a, the middle mouse button in creative mode. So. Those two are set up, and then we want to walk through the block as well because you can't really collide with torches normally. And I have it set to wood, decorations, and wood. Um, you might want to disable for both of the blocks um, inventory tab because you want to run that through your item itself. So with that being said, um, I've set the tick rate to three now this is just for the audio sounds uh, of the fire playing. I'm not sure if I really like it too much, but um, if you want to disable it, you can just disable this whole entire thing by pressing zero and it will um, disable the update tick and then you can basically just uh, not link the procedure and it should be fine. I have the um, block on cutter or block cutter on map set to yellow. 
and I have the restriction of being pushed to be destroyed. And finally, there's no MBT data or um, inventories that we need to link, so that's fine. And then finally, what we're doing is we're testing for two major things. Uh, the first thing is the update tech. This is just playing the sound. Um, you don't need that necessarily if you don't want it. Um, you can disable it just by selecting no procedures or not linking it at all. And uh, the other one is uh, when neighbor block changes. Now what this does is uh, when neighbor block changes, it's going to detect if there is an air block um, which the block is connected to. So um, for the rotation, uh, if the block is say on the um, nor north, yeah, north side, so get block direction, and then we're testing if it's rotated on the north side. This is um, for the wall and the other one. Um, the floor is down here, the wall is up here. So uh, for this particular part of the code, we're probably want to focus on this. So get block, we're getting the block of the floor torch. We're testing if the block below it is uh, air. And if air, then we're basically dropping, removing the block and dropping the um, item so that it has for its drop. We'll get to this in the other torch tutorial or the, the other torch. So the, again, uh, this is just for the dropping properties to detect if there is um, no block in the area. That's for the sound effects. Uh, generation, we didn't use any. And now onto the wall torch. So again, same thing. Particle effects, um, you want to select your wall model. You want to, this time you want to select the southwest northeast directions for rotation and you want to set it to cutout with transparency and then you want to adjust your um, your actual model size as well. So again all these other settings same thing as the other one um, you might want to disable this just in case you don't want it to show up in your but uh, other than that we have all the other or all the same settings as the other one and again if you don't want to um, have the sound effects just press zero to disable the update tick because it's not needed and um, then you want to set the reaction to being pushed to destroy and no inventory and again this is just for the sounds so you're more than welcome to use the sounds if you want to. Uh, the other thing over here is the, the same procedure for the uh, when neighbor block changes. This time what we're doing is we're texting for the block, if it the current block is a wall torch, and if the block behind it, which it's connected to, so it's if it's air and the direction of the current block is facing north, south, west, or east. So if that's all true, then it detects also the direction where the block is connected to. And if those two um, are true, then what it's doing is it's just going to drop the item and um, uh, basically remove the block as well. So that's basically all there is to that and again no uh, generation properties. So the only other thing that we have to cover is the torch item itself. Uh, you want to select your texture here then you want to select your amount your name will be what people are going to see in the GUI and then lastly, what we're going to be doing is uh, sending a right click on block hand location event. And then we have a few directions that we're going to be testing for. So the first one that we're testing for is if the block is, um, this is the actual cool thing that I noticed, I just discovered not too long ago. 
uh, trigger direction slash face equals and then the direction. So if it's this basically tests if the direction that the player uh, right clicks on because we're right clicking on the block, it's targeting the direction and face of up. So we're basically testing if the top of the block is right clicked on. If true, then it's going to test if there's an air block um, above that block that we're right clicking on. We're going to be placing a torch on the upside of the block and then we're also going to be uh, playing a sound because running a place a block event through the through procedures doesn't always uh, play sounds. So with that being said, we're testing for the other directions as well, north, south, east, and west. Um, these directions are um, also testing if there's a block of air in the area that the torch is going and then placing the torch. And then the only other difference for these ones is it's setting the direction of the torch um, to be facing the proper rotation. And then it's playing the sound. So that's the only difference what's going on here. So with that being said, uh, that's all there really is to making a torch, oddly enough. It was really simple to set up. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated, but um, when I was testing, I found that little um, block direction thing and it really uh, made a lot more time saved. So uh, hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.